Here's the project that we're going to do today. I'm calling this one Riding Side Saddle at Sunrise. And all the stamps used in this piece were Stampscape stamps, and these are the particular stamps that were used. I'll also have all this information in the description of the video. And so, let's begin! Okay, I'm using some poster board from the Dollar Tree. I'm using the glossy side of the poster board as opposed to the matte side. And I've cut it by five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm just going to color in the sky. I'm going to use some memento inks. I'm using dandelion, tangelo, Bahama blue, and Paris dusk. And I'm going to start with the dandelion. I'm going to change to the bigger brush. And I'll clean off the makeup brushes on a dry microfiber cloth. And next we'll use the Tangelo. Okay, next, some Bahama Blue. Okay, now i am cleaned off the brush and I'm just going back and forth to try and do some a little more blending. And now I'm going to do some Paris Dusk, and I will concentrate this pretty much on the edges. So I'm going to use my Stamping Up stamping platform now to uh, stamp the images in. And I will start by stamping in the mountain with Memento Tuxedo Black. And at this point I realized I'd had my sunset a little bit too low on the paper, so it's going to end up being a sunrise behind the scene. Next I will stamp the girl and the oak trees. And in fact, I think I'll use some Versafine Onyx Black ink. This is a really dark pigment ink to stamp these oak trees. I'm going to use my heat gun to help dry this pigment ink. Okay, and I've made a mask for the girl. Okay, so I've inked up the horse and rider, but I'm going to remove the ink from the rider. OK, 
Okay, next I'm going to do the small oak tree, and once again I'll use some VersaFine. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp this trio of trees, and I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black for this because they are further in the distance, so I wouldn't expect them to be as dark. Okay, I'm going to take this little row of trees and I'm going to use some Memento Northern Pine. Alright, and I'll use the same Northern Pine to stamp in some of this grass filler. Okay, I'm going to use a Copic marker, YR27, to add some color to the lady's dress. And I'll use some E11 for her skin. Okay, and since the light is probably shining in this direction towards her, I want to add some highlights to the horse. And I'm going to try maybe some yellow cake. This is a, a Color It gel pen. And I will try some happy cake. And I'll also try a little bit of Happy Yellow. Okay, I like the yellow cake better. And so now I'm also going to add some highlights to the trees. Okay, and the gel pen isn't really, it's taking too much of the background, so I'm going to try some of my they are paint markers, and I'm using the darker yellow. And I will make sure it's primed. And then add just some highlights. Okay, and the parts where the paint marker has gotten a little bit too bright, I'm just going to lightly dab it with a Q-tip just to kind of soften it a bit. Okay, now I'll use a white gel pen to just add some stars in the sky. Okay, and the one I just used was a Signo Uniball UM153. And now I am going to use a Jelly Roll 08. This is a little bit finer of a tip. And then I'll just add some lighter stars. Alright, and the ones that I did with the thicker gel pen I think are a little bit too intense so I'm just going to kind of scrape, scrape them off a little bit just to dull them down a bit. Okay and next I will add some of the tall grasses in the corner and I'm going to use my VersaFine black ink for that.
Okay, I'm going to give this pigment ink a chance to dry before I try and do anything else with this, and we'll be back. And uh, while I'm waiting for this to dry, I think I'll sign and date it. And I'll also use my Zayar paint, paint marker to just add a few random yellow stars in the sky also. Okay, the pigment ink is almost dry, so I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to spray it, spray it with some Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating. And since there are so many, uh, so much of the pigment ink on this, I'm going to do several very light layers instead of putting on just one heavy coat. And when I'm finished, we'll be back. And here is the final scene after it's been sprayed with the acrylic coating. I've also mounted it onto some black cardstock as a mask. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!